Today, promises become permanent and friends are becoming family. However, it's just not about the words spoken, the rings exchanged, or any of the fancy stuff. I guess, not about this view, I thought there was gonna be some crazy stuff, I guess. But this day is all about the love these two beautiful so souls share with each other. So let's get to it. So one of my favorite quotes says, if you love someone, you tell them. Even if you're scared, it's not the right thing. Even if you're scared, it's going to cause problems. Even if you're scared, it'll burn your life to the ground. You say it and you say it loud and then you go from there. And if you don't know that, it's Dr. Mark Sloan from Grey's Anatomy, my fave. And so that brought you guys here. <laughs> so what is marriage? Does anybody really know? But I'm sure some people could go on and give you the, these long thought out answers. And I'm sure they're great, but to be honest, I think we'd all agree and say that it's finding the one special person and realizing, yeah, that's the person that I want to annoy for the rest of my life. We have thousands of great and important moments that happen throughout our lives, but this moment right now is one that you guys want to share with everyone here today. And why this moment? Because despite of all our differences, love is one thing that we all share. It's our universal truth. And because no matter who we are, where we've come from, or what we believe in, we know this one thing. Love is what we're all doing right. And that's why both of you are standing here today and why all of us are here to witness. We all have loved in our lifetimes, and in this moment, we are reminded that the ability to love is the best part of our lives. All of us here have our own love stories. Some are short, some are long, some maybe haven't even started yet, while others are maybe getting to the good part. There are so many different chapters in our love stories. Some are sad and disappointing, and others are exciting and full of so much happiness. And your guys' love story is what brings you here. So take a, a minute to look back and smile at all of the moments that brought you guys here. Like the big moments when you guys said, I love you for the first time, when you guys moved in together, when you guys got engaged, and then the big one when you guys had Mia. <laughs> and now take a minute to think about all the, the moments that are yet to come and all the little moments that, are, that come in between. Like falling asleep next to each other, making dinner together, spending time with your families, there, then there's the stuff like making TikToks together, watching the Green Bay Packers play on Sunday, but go Cowboys, Cowboys. And, oh my God, that's a spot. Oh, and then on Sundays, watching 90 Day Fiance. <laughs> all of these moments make one big experience. And although this experience is really fun and amazing, we can never really explain it. Explain it all because sometimes words fail. And like I said, when we try to explain something, some, sometimes words just aren't enough. And that's the way it is with love. It's meant to be felt and not just talked about. And even though talking about love and trying to describe it is one of our favorite pastimes, which I mean we all hear the stories, the poems, and the corny love songs, which I love, by the way, to try and justify what it really means. And although we talk about love and describe it differently, we all know that love looks different from one person to the next but we all know what it is and what it looks like when we see it. And we see it here today. We all want life's greatest moments for you too. We're all here today to show you that we have your backs to support you, to be proud of you, and to remind you that love isn't really happily ever after, but the love is the experience of writing your own story. Okay, okay. with my whole heart. That's my whole heart. I take you as my partner. I take you as my partner. Acknowledging your strengths. Your Accepting, your faults, Accepting your faults, as you do mine. As you do. I will be yours in plenty, I'll be yours in plenty. And, in want. and in want, in sickness and in health, and in, and health. in joy and in sorrow, and in joy and in, in sorrow, <laughs> in failure and in triumph. And in and triumph. I promise to be faithful and supportive, and to make our love and happiness a priority. And to make our love and happiness you are my person, my love, my life, today and always. Okay, Dana, you ready? Okay, with my whole heart, I take you as my partner, acknowledging your strengths and accepting your faults as you do mine. I will be yours in plenty and in want, 
in sickness and in health, in joy and in sorrow, in failure and in triumph. I promise to be faithful and supportive and to make our love and happiness a priority. You are my person, my love, and my life, today and always. So since we have exchanged vows, now let's exchange the rings. And rings have no beginning and no end. It is round like the sun and the moon. And so it's a circle for love that is given comes back round again. Your rings are precious because you wear them with love. They symbolize your commitment in marriage. They remind you who you are, where you've been, and where you're going. As you wear them through time, they will reflect not only who you are as individuals, but who you are as a couple. So Dion, go ahead and repeat after me while you place it on your finger. I give you this ring, I you this ring. a reminder that I will love, a reminder that I will love honor, and honor and cherish you in all times, in all, times. In all, places, in all places, and in all ways, in all ways. <laughs> forever. <In> forever. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I give you this ring. <laughs> I give you this ring. As a reminder that I will love. As a reminder that I will love. Honor. Honor. And cherish you. And cherish you. In all times. In all times. <laughs> in all places. In all places. And in all ways. And in all ways. Forever. 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 Are you guys ready? Are you ready to become official? Are you guys ready? You guys ready? <laughs> all right. Nice, huh? <laughs> so now for the good part. And what it's going to make this all official, and by the power vested in me, and by the very real Universal Life Church, I promise it's legit, <laughs> and the state of Arizona, I now pronounce you husband and wife, kiss your bride.